Hello, so in this episode, uh, we're playing Survive the Volcano. So, it sounds like I'm going to be taking a lot of sort of damage from spells and stuff like that. Um, I haven't played this one before. So I'm going to go with Chat of the Moldea, because it has a lot of life gain. Um, if you get the right hand. This hand is horrible. It's got a lot of land. But it has no land ramp, and it's going to take me like six turns. And then I still won't have enough land to play this thing, so I'll draw your hand. This is better. This is much better. So, keep hand. On turn two, I drop the Colony Heart Expedition. Now, with those cards, you want to drop them first. And then on the next turn, you can play Rampant Growth. And you can give this thing a counter, a double counter, if you've got another land to play. And obviously, when it gets three counters, you can sacrifice it and get even more land. So I've got two Eldrazi's that show on the play. So first of all, call the Heart Expedition. I just need to draw one more land, I think. And then I have enough to play these Eldrazi's later on. As you can see, he's drawn out a Goblin Mountain here, which we saw the last time. Um, I'm not scared of that creature. We do have a Venge Vine, which is nice. Oh, we've drawn a land, that's perfect. So... This turn, play the land, we play Rampant Growth. Two counters on that thing. Then next turn I can drop Venge Vine on the land. Then I'll be able to sacrifice this. And then the turn after. I think I need one more land actually, and then I'll be able to play it on the monk scratching. And I've got the land, yay! So, land goes down. Sacrifice the thing. And then bring out the bench fine. And I'm not going to attack with it. I want to have this as an annoying defender for him. I want him to use a spell on it so that he can't really deal with my Eldrazi when it comes out. So, he has Lava Hounds, Haste. So when it enters the battle, it does 4 damage to you. So, not to me, it does it to him. So, he's killing himself. It's good. So I could play a right to the flourishing. At the beginning of each player's draw step, I draw an additional card. Each player may play an additional land. However, why play that when I could just play an Eldrazi and not give him any kind of card advantage? Because he gets a draw as well from it. So I'm gonna attack with my Venge Fine, don't mind if it dies. Just wanna do some damage with it. I've got the upper hand, so I'm just gonna start attacking with everything. So he's going to attack. Being a red deck, I don't really trust him. Like if I block, I take four damage, and then he might have some kind of like disintegrate spell or something. Chandra's outrage. Any of those things would be like four, five mana costs, and they'd kill my creature if I blocked. So he's going to play fire elemental. So he's got a lot of threats on the board. I still don't want to play this because I don't want him to have the advantage. He's still got creatures of mine that he needs to deal with. However, I might attack with my Vengevine after all because... Then no, I wait, if he doesn't block the Vengevine, he could block this one with the 1-1 and then he'd have like 9 damage through to me next turn, 
And then if he had a lava axe or something, he might be able to kill me. Uh, so I'm just going to attack with the Eldrazi, make him sacrifice his lands. Oh, I've got Slaughter Master achievement. Oh, I can play my second Eldrazi and return a creature from the graveyard to the battlefield, and then no, nothing died. So maybe I should have attacked with both, but it, it won't matter really. Um, he's not going to be able to stop me. I don't think any red card in the entire of Magic could. Um, stop this army from killing him next turn. Or rather, from killing him in next turn and the turn after. You know. So he's going to do two damage to it. He's going to put it down to three. And he's going to do another three damage. So he's taken out one of my Eldrazi, he's exiled it. Well done. Well, let's hope he doesn't have another. No, I cannot use another volcanic hammer to have the land. So I'm going to swing him with both. He has to lose his creature here, he has to block. Otherwise, he takes 12 damage. There's no need again for me to play this Rites of Flourishing. And he's run out of stuff. So, that's how you defeat that encounter. Let's see what card I unlock. Elvish Piper, that's a really good card. And I got an achievement. So with this card, 4 mana drop. You wait a turn, then you can pay 1 forest, tap it, put creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. So if you have like a 12 mana cost Eldrazi in your hand, you can bring that out on turn 5. Um, so that's really crazy. And in the next video, we'll be playing the uh, against the Enter the Dracomancer deck, and hopefully I'll be unlocking that deck and defeating him. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.